Hello, welcome to another video. And you're looking at my Philips Hue Hub that's sitting in my network cabinet. And I just wanted to do a very quick follow-up video. If you've uh, seen my Philips Hue video so far, you will know that uh, I have three bulbs up there that are Philips Hue ambient bulbs and three up there that are also Philips Hue ambient bulbs. I haven't gone mad with my Philips Hue setup, uh, just ambient, no coloured lights. Uh, in here, this is also an ambient bulb uh, in my dining room. So those are, the, those are the, the Philips Hue setups that I have at the moment with plans to add a few more that I will post videos about when that happens. But the purpose of this video is to talk about power. Now, if you have a Philips Hue system and you do that to the switch to turn them on or off, uh, let's just say you do that to turn the lights off, then your lights will no longer be smart. So you have to remember not to press that switch, which for me is a bit of a pain. That's kind of a step backwards in terms of, of functionality. So what I've done, and I alluded to this in a previous Philips Hue video, is to have the switches completely removed and so there, there used to be a switch for a uh, for the normal uh, lights, turn the lights on and off, and there was one over there as well. And instead, I just had them permanently wired on. And in place, I've just stuck on the wall this Philips Hue dimmer. Now you can actually take this uh, off and use it as a little portable uh, unit if you want to, but in actual fact, uh, that just stays permanently on the wall there. And the advantage of this is that it means that if you walk in the room and you want to turn the lights on, you have a switch to do it. And which sounds crazy being excited about that. There's another one over there as well. Uh, but the important thing is that you then muscle memory is kind of a thing where you just want to turn switches and turn lights on and off. And having the switch on the wall just simply means that you can do that. But of course, because they are smart lights, you have the advantage of being able to control them through uh, voice control. For me, that's Siri, but for you, it could be Alexa or Google Home and uh, through uh, the Hue app and also through HomeKit and through all the other things you can do with smart lights such as setting timers and events to happen and all this kind of stuff. Uh, but crucially, they will still work with traditional switches if that's what you want to do. So you haven't got to shout like an idiot at a voice control system to turn the lights on and off and you haven't got to worry at shouting at people in the house to tell them not to turn the lights off because then they won't be smart anymore. Now, I've done exactly the same thing if I go here into my dining room. So that, there used to be a, a normal light switch there. And as you can see, that's completely gone and just been replaced with the Philips Hue dimmer. And, and that means that it will just work as normal uh, with an uh, on and off out of the box this is. And then uh, those are dimmer controls there. But of course I can control through the app or through the, the light switch. Now this uh, dimmer is actually quite good, or this Philips Hue dimmer is quite good because you can program uh, the buttons. So I've left the top one as on and the bottom one as off, seems like the logical thing to do. Uh, but with the middle two, instead of being dimmers, in here I've actually set those to, to trigger a scene. So the top one, if I press it, will turn the lights, both sets of lights, on to 50%. And then the bottom switch here, I've set so that that will activate a scene called TV Watch, which uh, turn, keeps that set of lights on at 25%, I think it is, or might be 50%, can't remember, and it turns that set of lights off completely. Uh, so that's quite handy. It means that, of course, you can activate those scenes in HomeKit, uh, and you can shout at, uh, at Siri to, to activate them, but it's quite nice to have uh, a switch on the wall that will do that as well. Uh, I've also set these lights that will automatically come on at dusk and all those kind of things that you can do with smart lighting. Uh, but the purposes of this video is just simply to say, well, uh, the bad thing, the one bad thing about smart lighting is that uh, you have to make sure that you keep the switch in the on position for the lights to remain smart. Uh, but if, like me, you simply get rid of those switches, you no longer have a problem. So anyway, I hope you've liked that video, and I will post some more Philips Hue stuff, I'm sure, as I expand the system. Uh, if you have any questions about how I've done this, uh, then please post them below, and I will endeavour to, to answer them. Uh, but I hope you've enjoyed watching, and I will catch you next time.